What is in a dietitian's fridge? Let's take a tour. Hello, lovely humans. My name is Jack, registered dietitian. Welcome to Inc. Nutrition. If you haven't been here before, welcome. We are a team of dietitians who really just try to make people healthier. We created this YouTube channel to make credible information when it comes to nutrition available to everyone. So thank you very much for joining. On today's episode, we are going to dive into my fridge. Gonna take a tour of everything I got. Three disclaimers to discuss first. Okay, so number one, I'm not sponsored by any brand that you see here, or I'm not partial to anything. Really choose what you want. Two, just because I have it doesn't mean you have to have it. Nutrition should be very individualized and personalized, but you know, maybe some of this will inspire you. And three, I will admit my fridge looks a little more organized than normal, but everything you see in here is pretty typical. Okay, let me introduce you to one of my very favorite places, my fridge. We're gonna start off with the shelves, all right? Of course. So, you know, I'm gonna jump straight into this. Okay, so butter. I do have butter. I'm a dietitian, but I have butter because it's delicious and I think there's a place for it, all right? Next, um, we got condiments. I also think there's definitely a time and place for condiments and sauces. So I have some chili paste, I have some fish sauce. Uh, I combine that with soy sauce, which I actually do not have at the moment to make a lot of different, you know, like Korean dressings and so forth. Uh, we've got jam, yes, I also think jam is okay to have, right, in the, in the right amounts. Nut butter, definitely, okay? So this is some almond butter. Gotta have nut butter. Uh, sauerkraut, all right? Sauerkraut, yeah, it's not for everyone, but it's a wonderful food for your gut health. Highly recommend it. You can make it yourself too if you want a little challenge. Then I got some supplements. I don't take a whole lot of supplements and this is very individualized. So just because I have it, again, doesn't mean you have to, but I do have fish oils, all right? Uh, vitamin D and some ashwagandha, all right? Those are kind of the three that I that I pretty much routinely take and I keep them in the fridge just to keep it all fresh. Next we have kombucha. I, I have made it in the past, but I, you know, I'm not that nutritionist that, you know, does everything homemade, all right? I do what I can, I'm busy like everyone else, but kombucha is excellent, love it. Have to have kefir. Some people call it kefir. I think the proper pronunciation is kefir, just saying. Uh, this is, the, hands down, the best probiotic rich food that you can get at the grocery store, okay? Gotta have, I, I pretty much replace yogurt with kefir. Mustard, all right, mustard's a great condiment. It's also very healthy and you can put on a lot of things to make things tasty. Hot sauce, of course, of course, get some good hot sauce, get some local high quality stuff that has some good whole food ingredients. And yes, I even have ketchup, okay? Um, got some, you know, a few sparkling waters down here. Lemon juice, if I don't wanna take the time to squeeze it myself, even though that is better. Maple syrup, you know, this is a great way to naturally sweeten a lot of things. That's pretty much the shelves. Now let's dive into the big stuff. Uh, I do. I really do make my own condiments often, and I think it's very important to do that, uh, just because one, it's gonna be healthier, two, it's gonna be tastier. Uh, you can make anything taste good when you make your own condiments. So this is, it's an old jar, but I put some some homemade pesto in there, all right? Uh, pico de gallo, yeah, you can put this on anything that's savory. Uh, overnight oats. All right, this is a this is a go-to. This is a staple. I kind of rotate between a few different breakfasts every day: oatmeal, overnight oats, uh, or egg sandwiches or smoothie bowls. Those are those are the big ones. Oh, I do have a sourdough starter. Okay, this isn't for show. I, I really do make my own sourdough bread. Oh, that's the uh, it's the fridge making the sound. But we're gonna keep the door open. All right. Uh, okay, milk. 
I'm a big fan of milk. I know everyone can't tolerate. If you're lactose intolerant, different story. But if you can, go for the dairy milk. Whole milk too is really what I do recommend. I also have some oat milk because I, I like the taste of it. And I like to mix things up as well to get some plant-based milk in there. Good for smoothies, good for coffee. Brussels sprouts, mm, so good. Cheese, okay, we don't, you don't need to buy pre-shredded cheese. It's gonna be more expensive uh, and not as tasty. So, block of good, high quality Parmesan cheese. Always have leftovers of something, whether it's from a restaurant or from something I made in bulk. This is just a soup because it's soup season. Tahini, oh, tahini's good. Tahini is another, is another staple. Nutrient powerhouse, packed with vitamins. It's sesame seed paste. Oh, there goes the fridge again. Sorry about that. Sorry, fridge. Sorry, energy bill. Uh, I do think juice as well in the right amounts is great. You know, it really is packed with tons of nutrients. You don't want to guzzle it all day, but this is some good pomegranate juice. Got some tomatoes, okay. We got some cucumbers right here. <laughs> Pick that one up. All right, we do have a squash, no, a zucchini. Okay, I'm gonna make some zucchini bread perhaps. Fresh herbs, really utilize herbs, okay? And dry herbs are fine, seasoning, spices, fine, but you're not gonna get one of the nutrients or the flavor that you can get from fresh herbs. Better yet, grow them yourself. Okay, and I will admit too, I get a food delivery uh, service through Market Misfits Market, which is awesome. Again, not sponsored, but I love it because I don't have to worry about a lot of my produce and I get a variety of what's in season uh, on a weekly basis. So that's why I have a few more vegetables than normal. I, again, I'm honest, I'll admit that. But we have some Asparagus, forgot the name there. Must have leafy greens, always have some leafy greens. We got some kale, a couple varieties. Uh, bok choy, I'm excited to use this one. Parsley, not a big fan for a lot of people, but I make a lot of chimichurri, and this is the main ingredient for that. Spring onions, tasty, can add to so many things. Gotta have cruciferous vegetables. One of the most healthy variety of vegetables and you should have them on a weekly basis. Uh, cauliflower and cabbage, yum, yum, yum. I do have some spinach in here too. If you, if you just want one tip on how to increase your nutrient intake, throw some spinach into your morning smoothies, just a handful. It's not gonna throw off the flavor that much and you're gonna meet a lot of your needs. Okay, this next one I think I have literally all the time in the fridge, eggs. Eggs are a staple, and if you like them, you should have them often. Shiitake mushrooms. Okay, mushrooms are also very nutrient dense. Uh, I like the Asian varieties just because they tend to, in my opinion, be tastier and have more nutrients. Also, always get mushrooms that have brown, that are brown on the top because they've been exposed to more sun, which means they have more vitamin D. And then I do typically keep a grain that I have already cooked in bulk. Uh, so this is quinoa right here. That way I can quickly assemble a quick lunch or salad or dinner. Uh, when I have something that's already prepared, right? This is like that mini meal prep approach and it saves a lot of time. Almost done. We got, of course, our protein, all right, our protein. So um, I'm defrosting some fish, okay? Uh, fish is a go-to for me. I even have some sausage, okay? There is a place for red meat too. I am a little bit more picky when it comes to my meat choices. I do go to a local butcher. You don't have to, but I think the quality's better. That's essentially everything in my fridge. But you know, while we're at it, let's just walk into the freezer next door. Okay, so first thing you might see is yes, ice cream. Again, I am a dietitian, but I love ice cream. Um, 
nuts? I do keep nuts in the freezer. Technically, it's the best way to store them. You don't have to. It's not gonna harm you if you don't store them in the freezer, but it's the best way to preserve nutrients and the fatty acids. Uh, I, I do love these frozen smoothie packets, all right? These acai packets because I make smoothie bowls often. Way more cost effective too than buying out. I always, for the most part, have frozen fruit, frozen bananas in particular. I make a, wow, I'm gonna close you soon. I'm gonna close you soon. I make a lot of nice cream, okay? You, where you just blend milk and bananas. Staple. I do have some frozen bread as well, just because it was going bad. Uh, when you pop in frozen bread into the toaster, it comes out perfect. More frozen fruit, frozen berries. I do a lot of things with frozen berries. Uh, we also have some uh, frozen shrimp, okay? It's good to have on hand some kind of meat, in my opinion, in your freezer. And then, yes, I even have a, a frozen pizza. When I'm in a bind and I don't have time to cook, sometimes, like everyone else, right, I, 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 I choose frozen pizza. It's okay. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything I got right now. Well, it is everything I have right now. I uh, thank you so much for watching. Thank you very much for coming in and checking out one of my very beloved, most intimate spaces, the fridge. And again, this is just what I have. It's not what you have to have, but keep it balanced, right? Make sure you have something from every food group if you can. I love also everyone's comments. This was a suggestion from someone, great idea. If you have any more suggestions or thoughts or ideas or interests in the world of nutrition, let me know and I'll talk about it here on YouTube. Please like, comment, subscribe for more content every Wednesday. Again, my name is Jack, registered dietitian. We are Inc. Nutrition, where we are all about mind, body, and food. I hope everyone has a very happy and healthy day. Peace. Almost dropped that. That is what the dietitian ordered.